Yes. yes. Welcome to Lean Lovely and my bed. Thank you yes. very much. This is my first uh, episode in my new video blog. Oh, yes. What an honor. It's to an be honor invited. to have you as my first guest. Thank you very much. So I would like to introduce my dear friend and colleague Fredrik Swan. Thank you. I'm really happy to have you here because I admire you a lot and mm. I'm really curious to dig into you and also to make you follow our little journey here into the world of pleasure and love and joy and music. Yeah, playfulness. Playfulness. Yes. Who are you? What's your background? I am a very curious man. Who have uh, always, music has kind of been my way of creating and expressing myself since I was about 12 years old and had, had a great music teacher in school and he was like an extra father and like really mm -hmm. inspired me to otherwise I don't think I would ever came into this expression um, and then I, I'd like I've always been curious so I always wanted to try things that I, I didn't really know and uh, my path has been like through music and music studies at the music academy and then I was a vocal teacher uh, in a high school and uh, and always been playing in bands and coaching people's voices but very much in like technique and that but then after meeting my ex-wife when I was about 30 and having four kids and uh, that on the same time doing being in musicals and different yeah that kind of world very much the entertainment world mm -hmm. uh, we started to be interested in tantra together and uh, that kind of brought my yeah the more because i'm very restless i have a lot of energy i want to do things and yeah you know that i know <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so so it kind of brought me a little more back to to myself and also to the, the connection with just one to mm -hmm. really drop into more and i think always sexuality has been and pleasure has been like also my expression and my way of to land mm -hmm. and to really feel free and so it's like a connection between music and sexuality for me that kind of was brought in uh, through Tantra mm. in my life and then we were together for 11 years and we broke up and that was like a turning point I think to uh, come into the Tantric world more mm. and bring my music into mm. to that so that's like a little yeah mm. a little about me <laughs> because what fascinates me about you and also other colleagues that we have is that you come from this background of um, music where you were performing in, in big on big stages and TV and working with entertainment on a broad scale and then it seems like something happened to you in your life you had this relationship and you broke up and now your music is carrying so much depth so much knowledge and carrying a transmission of your own exploration and what you have found on your path yeah I think it was yeah, it, it made me kind of stop in mm. my life a little after the, the divorce and and uh, yeah to uh, my vision has always been I love to connect mm. with the audience and to like uh, play together and sing together and that's my my energy mm. and uh, there is a way that I I think it's it kind of made me relax into that it's other people that's also interested I, I think you can feel alone mm. in okay I am interested in sexuality mm. and then when you in the tantric world you see okay mm. most of us are mm. but not so many of us dare to talk about it mm. and how can we feel more free and how can music help us mm. because there is a, a, a relation between mm. music and playfulness and, and to bring more sexual energy or free energy into life mm. So it, it did, it was kind of a, a revelation for me also to, and I should also admit that in this tantric world, of course, there is also, it feels great to be a, a musician in mm. this world and be on stage and with you. And it's, 
it is a little ego boost also <laughs> to be there, <laughs> and that felt great. Mm. But but uh, so I had like a goal. I remember I set a goal. In I was I worked a lot in men group also, mm. and we had a goal setting, and that was that I wanted to to share my music more in these kind of environments. Mm. And that was a, a friend of mine that reminded me of that goal setting five years mm -hmm. I had five years ago, and now. Oh, that's I am actually in this no, environment. Yeah, <laughs> so that was amazing. Yeah. What connection do you see between music and sexuality? Yeah, I see so much connections there because it's been, it's like a, a playground, and I think we all want to. I mean, we all born with, we take our first breath. That's the first thing we do when we come into this, mm. onto Mother Earth. We take a breath. And what's the second thing we do? We sound. Mm. Ah. Mm. And the third thing, we move mm. our body. Mm. And the fourth thing, we connect. Mm. So it's like the four elements of the first thing mm. you experience on Mother Earth. Mm. And for me, that's been what I work with in my voice class and stuff like that, is to come back to mm. these four elements. And that's a lot of what Tantra is about. Mm. Breath, Breath, voice, movement, mm. connection. Mm. So I, I call it BCSM. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Breath, connection, sound, movement. Yeah. So that's easy to remember. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, so it has a really intimate connection because the voice, when I feel free, I use my voice, I use my breath, I use movement in my sexuality mm. and also to express music mm. and it's also super vulnerable mm. to sing mm. a lot of people maybe even it's easier to be sexual mm. than to show your voice mm. and to be so naked and to be so vulnerable i think that is the beauty of sexuality and music mm. and that was also makes it so connected with feelings and connect feel with authenticity mm. with showing yourself and feel free and that flow, when you feel that flow sexually or musically, it's, it's the same energy. It's mm. like, so it's so really intimately mm. connected for me. I really like that you're putting emphasis on that flow because there are so many approaches to music and sexuality as something that you perform. I'm mm. standing on the stage and I'm performing. Mm. I'm standing on the stage and I want you to give me love and appreciation for my performance. Mm. I'm with you in bed and I perform and I want you to give me love and appreciation for my performance. Mm. This yeah. is on one hand. On the other hand, for me also sexuality is a flow. Yeah. It's, it's being there, it's being fully present, it's expressing what I feel in real time, here and now, and to go for the most pleasurable experience that we can have together here mm. and now. And so you mean it's the same with music. So. Mm. When we are creating music together or, or you're leading a group singing, it's about expressing what we feel here and now mm. in real time and finding the most pleasurable expression of that here and now. Mm. And I think that's a, a huge pitfall in the Tantra community also, mm. this performance. Because mm. everything can be techniques and performance, mm. but it's when you also music. Mm. So it's a, a lot related because mm. when you feel that someone is just performing music mm. you don't feel it mm. and with someone performing sexuality mm. you don't feel the connection mm. it's someone doing it for so or to be appreciated mm. like you say so it's and that is so much about mind mm. we get stuck in the mind and see ourselves for me from the outside but when i let go of that and i connect with someone else mm. and i can feel the connection mm. then it's like my head is not they're looking at me because I'm, I'm seeing, I'm feeling, mm. we're melting together. Mm. Well, if it's an audience or if it's one person. And so I think it's super connected, mm. music and sexuality mm. and dance. Also, it, like art, mm. because art is feelings. You can't mm. really, it's not, there's a, a beautiful saying that, you, uh, that it em em all art emphasizes on the now. Mm. Because you, you, it's not when you perform a, a music, it's not the one who first comes to the end. No. That would be pretty boring. <laughs> that is like a competition. Pretty chaotic. Yeah. Oh, I would, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would, it, it's to be now and now 
and not just in the expression, just like love making. Mm, mm. It's not to go and the tantric way of not being so goal oriented. Mm. It's exactly mm. that. It's not about the end of the song. It's not mm. about the end of the love making. It's mm. about every single moment that we are there and we are connecting with ourselves. We are connecting with each other, and we are maybe also observing or feeling the result of this connection, like mm. singing together, feeling the this connection through our song or making love feeling this connection through our love making mm, feeling ourself mm. it's like mirroring ourself through someone else mm. it's like for me and it's also the beauty of of uh, the here and now and not and, and also the dynamics that it's also in the middle of a music when you feel when you have connected with a band and you just suddenly mm. it's really silent you mm. go dynamically you feel like and with the audience, you, you flow together like love makes. So if it's goal oriented, you have to go somewhere and you have a, a picture of mm. how this song is going to be performed mm. or how this love makes. Oh, and then we're going to do that. And yeah. I, then I'm going to go oral and then I, blah, 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 and then yeah. I have this huge program. That I, and it's so fucking boring. Yeah. But when you feel in it in the middle of when you're in ecstasy, you're like, yeah. let's stop here. And it's so that dynamic, the mm. flow is mm. beautiful. Mm. And that takes a lot, that's really vulnerable mm. also, because you also risk that you feel wrong, mm. that some, maybe it's not, but if you, for me, it's so, even if we're not on the same page, mm. and I want to stop, mm. and it's like, ah, uh, and it can get really scary, and I can cry, and mm. I can, and that's a new connection, mm. and then mm. there's the, the new now, mm. and we start from there, and we go on, and it's like this flow, yeah, mm. it's flow. Mm. So that's, yeah, I love music and sexuality. Mm. And I, I'm just going to share, because that was my father's speech when I, when I graduated, when I was 18 years old. My, all of my relatives were in the room, mm -hmm. and he was holding this speech, and he said, yeah, Frederick has had so many different um, interests in his life. And uh, it, since about 15 years old, it seems that it has like established into two main interests. And it's music and sexuality. Oh. But it was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> Eighteen years old in front of all. Yeah, my yeah. grandmothers and yeah, but it, yeah. Mm. And what they really enjoy about you and your music is the playfulness. Mm. Like you have, you have a lot of skill. Obviously, you have practiced a lot. You have learned a lot, and you have played a lot. You have a lot of experience. But what makes you so special and what makes your music so special is the playfulness. That you uh, are able to pick up uh, feelings, emotions, impulses from the audience or from your, your fellow musicians and play with it and, and, and allow us to be surprised and, and probably be surprised yourself of what comes out. And I think the beauty of that is to not be scared. Mm. It's just because we all have these impulses, mm. but we hesitate. Mm. There is a, it was like a, I was in a, a TV show called Solskar Låta in Sweden. Mm. And I remember before the first time I went there, I was like reminding myself, okay, this is a TV, but try to be, don't hesitate. Mm. Because it's so easy to like judge yourself or when I go up into my head it's exactly the same as sexuality mm -hmm. if I start to hesitate I have an impulse mm -hmm. and then oh but maybe she thinks that's too much or that's mm -hmm. too little mm -hmm. or that's the, something wrong then I'm out of it mm -hmm. it's exactly the same it's the fears of being judged or mm -hmm. wrong or shame or mm -hmm. that if I can let go of that more and just f flow with the impulse it's 99 percent chance mm -hmm. that it will mm -hmm. be perfect exactly. in that moment yeah there's something about the fear mm -hmm. to just to acknowledge it and just be curious. What, what am I afraid of? Mm. Because we have an intuition that uh, is in a way more intelligent than mm. our mind, than our knowledge, than our knowing, than mm. the know-how. Some kind of intuition that is connected with each other. And, and if we follow that impulse, like you say, 99% of the times it's spot on and it's exactly mm. what is needed in that, that moment. And that's the beauty of yeah. <laughs> I love to get older. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't give a fuck if it's wrong. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. 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 It's
it's great. It's lovely to get older. Yeah. I want to tell all of the younger <laughs> viewers, like here we are in our 40s. Mm. And 50 soon. 50 <laughs> soon. <laughs> in a month. And I mean, aren't we juicier than ever <laughs> in our lives? Like, <laughs> That's how we feel. <laughs> That's how we feel. <laughs> <laughs> and our young lovers as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. But... Um, this about uh, expressing and being authentic in the tantra world sometimes it's like also image of how it's supposed to be it's supposed to be very light it's supposed to be a light and it's supposed to be eye gazing and open heart but you and i we also like to explore other parts of tantric life mm. like darker shadow uh, all the things that we are trying to hide from other people normally, mm. the desires, the darker desires. Mm. How has your journey in this direction been? Yeah, I think it's in. I think it was like five years ago. I went to my first uh, bondage workshop for, and that was like a huge. Because I'm, a, I think a lot of manifest doing. I'm a lot in that en energy. So being tied to mm. surrender, mm. it was super vulnerable for me. I just cried and cried, and I felt so free mm. in being tied. It was like such a freedom for me. And it was a huge emotional experience. Mm. So after that, I've, I've been uh, back and forth. It's like, it's not, okay, I'm only doing that, but it's uh, to explore and to also dominate and really go into, also not, is this is the same fear. Mm. That you you get scared that someone else will be scared of you that you're too much mm. or that you're so to work with that shame mm. around it and really share and feel safe with someone mm. I think it's beautiful in in a deeper relation when you can really be vulnerable in this and okay this is so hard to ask for but would you do this with me mm. Mm. <laughs> and like almost yeah and it's so I'm in a, a, a new relation where I really feel authentic in this way mm. and we have shared beautiful and then it's also this like kinks or th these kind of shadow sides that are beautiful to explore but I, for me it's something also that releases when mm. I have explored it it's like okay yeah, mm. so it's not so before it can be and I think it's so many shadows in society and and violence and, and destructive ways mm. that would not be there if we acknowledge them and could share them with people mm. that we love mm. and and be held in it and, and explore it in a safe mm. space. So I think it's super important to bring those shadows into light. Mm. That's so. exactly how I see it too. You know, I see sexuality as an adult way of playing. Like mm. when we're kids, we are playing for many reasons because it's fun, because it makes us relaxed, because we are learning things. Connection. Connection yeah. and to heal our fears. Like children, many times they play the things that they are scared of in order for them to, to, to get in touch with that and to feel safe and to feel that it's okay. Like there is war going on. So in the world, war makes me scared, killing makes me scared, and playing it makes me feel safer in this, mm -hmm. in this way. And for me, sexuality is the adult way of playing. It's like the way I like to experience my sexuality is playful, is expressive. It's like I bring what I have with me from today into the bedroom and I'm exposing myself mm. playful, sexual, with this healing sexual energy. Mm. And when we have traumas, when we have um, scary experiences, or we have a life that is very tied up, we have <laughs> a lot yeah. of commitment, a lot of schedule. driving force, yeah. schedule, and we are performing people. And the sexuality will give us the opportunity to either be forced to surrender, to be forced to be the one who is not doing anything, mm. or to be in touch with my anger, my rage, my violence. Mm. And it's like you say, once we live it out in this safe and playful way, it disappears. Mm. The the urge and the need to do all these kinky things is yeah. settling and, and we meet on a new moment, a new now, in another mm. way. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful too. Yeah, it's really I think I shared my last shame <laughs> with, with my partner now. So it feels like mm. yeah, it's so uh, 
it's such a relief mm -hmm. to feel free in a love connection and not hide sides of me and not try to put the Facebook side of me mm -hmm. in a relation. Just be, well, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm not better or worse than this. Mm -hmm. So I even made a song. Yeah, about I want to listen to that song. Yeah, because it I was... I want you to listen to that song too. Because <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I, it is an old idea that I, I'm... My new record is going to come out this year and it's going to be called 50 Years of Curiosity. Mm -hmm. Since it's my birthday. <laughs> and uh, then I want all these different... The dynamics of the playfulness and the depth and the peace and like try to melt that into one record. So this is a playful song. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sing one verse and, and one refrain. Uh. So I haven't learned the lyrics yet, I wrote it this week. <laughs> I'm free and I'm me Admit what turns me on it's such a... Oh, sorry, one more time. <laughs> to break. Cut. Cut. <laughs> okay, so I wrote this song this week. So I haven't learned the lyrics yet, but it's about exactly this, about feeling free and, and just be me. I'm free and I'm me. Admit what turns me on. Come on, come on. Such a big relief. Trust will make us strong And love will make us safe Now I feel whole and true As long as we respect each other Consent from me and you and you and you We can choose to be brave We can still be safe Nothing to lose or win If I dare to share everything it's only kinky the first time Let's bring shadows in light It's only kinky the first time Freedom is such a delight, delight, delight It's only kinky the first time, yeah Let's bring shadows in light Sing with me, it's only kinky the first time It's only kinky the first time, yeah, yeah, yeah Freedom such a delight, one more time, it's only kinky It's only kinky the first time, yeah, yeah Let's bring shadows in light, it's only kinky It's only kinky the first time, yeah Freedom is such a delight <laughs> It's a success, thank you so much Friedrich Swan Thank you <laughs> What an impulse What an yeah. impulse, great <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs>